What's going on, guys? Woo, it feels like it's been forever since I have gone live. Uh, let me know if I'm coming in clear, sound good, all that. All right, we got the volume cut off on the other. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been live. I think it's been over two months so far since I've been live. Hi, Anthony, how are you? Paul, what's going on? I seen Tim in here. Crazy John, what's happening? Randall, I see you in here, buddy. Uh, loud and clear, awesome. Loud and proud, David. I think I just read, Paul, you ain't been feeling good either, have you, buddy? I, I hope you uh getting rid of it, man. This one right here has been one that has kicked my booyakaka, let me tell you. And I still ain't 100%. Y'all got me at about 70, 65, 70% tonight. Oh, there's my boo thing. Hey, Margarita. Uh, I thought you was going to be late today. I thought you was doing the Zumba. Uh, Christina, how are you? Lonnie? Uh, I'm just kind of reading them as they pop up here. Don't know how many people we got in here right now. 75? Yeah, that might be a little much. Uh, hello from the other side of the state. What's going on, buddy? Uh uh we are taking a little break oh nice yeah margarita's doing the zumba right now uh, she went home today evelyn what's going on but yeah i've been sick since uh pretty much the beginning of the year it seems like i think it was uh two wednesdays ago night i got sick so like 14 days something like that I've been sick, and then this morning I woke up. The mornings and the evenings are really the uh, the two big ones for me. I mean, once the day gets going and I get to moving around a little bit, I feel a little bit, feel a little better. But uh, the mornings is kind of hard on, on the throat and the congestion and all that. And then the nighttime, it's kind of the same deal. A lot of pressure in my head and stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and go live anyways. I've been talking about going live again now for a while, and I've not managed to be able to do it. We're getting sick, and I miss going live. It's It's been a while. I, I feel a little rusty. I almost I almost feel new to this whole live thing. It's been, it's been so long. I think this is the longest it's been since I've went live. Even when I was in Texas, I don't think I ever went like two months without going live. So it's definitely uh, new for me. What do y'all think about the new time slot? There's no guarantee it's going to stay here at Monday at 6, but Monday at 6 seems to work out. Uh, so, hello, come on. You are sounding better, and hello, Ridge Life. Yeah, thank you. I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely getting there. The voice is better. I have been making my uh, come on, keeping it reels. Um, those don't take a lot of energy, and all of that other stuff is basically just me talking. So I have been kind of slowing back getting to that. I do want to start recording again as far as actually getting stuff done. I need to um, because I'm headed to Florida uh, in six days. Um, yeah, it's going to be, uh, yeah, six days, Sunday. Sunday I'm heading out. I, I've been behind the scenes kind of getting everything ready for that. Eclipse is going to hang out with her sister uh, that week, and I have somebody coming over to house set for me that will be here at the cabin while I'm gone, and I'm going to leave the cats here. So they'll be good to go. Uh, this time slot clashes with my other channels. All right. Uh, it's Monday at 7 in Ohio. Yeah, it's kind of hard picking a new slot out here in this world because there's so many lives. Yeah, David picked up a lung infection just before New Year's Eve. Had it two weeks of antibiotics, but I'm near back to normal now. I'm glad, buddy. I am glad. I don't know what I picked up, but whatever it was, it is some serious stuff. <laughs> Andy Ann said, LOL, are you nervous? Nah. <laughs> I'm not nervous, Auntie Ann. I don't, I don't get nervous anymore, but it does feel a little odd, I guess. I don't know. It's different. You know, it's a flow thing with these live things. You kind of get in them, and then you start just getting on a flow. And it's been a while since I've done it, so I kind of feel like my flow is off a little bit right now. But we'll get back to it because we're going to start doing them uh, pretty regular again. 
I don't know how next week's going to work out with me being in Florida. Um, I don't know exactly what day it actually end up happening. I would like to go live with my granddaughter. She would, uh, she would absolutely love that. Um, Addie is excited about her papa coming to Florida. She's already said we got to make a video. Everyone goes live now, so it's impossible not to go at the same time as someone else. I like this time slot for you. All right. Well, thank you, Auntie Anne. Appreciate it, Gary. Uh, David, we all know what you picked up. <laughs> A hot little Mexican chili. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I definitely picked that up. Uh, luckily, she's not sick. Her daughter was sick for a couple of days, but, uh, you know, those kids, they bounce back pretty quick. Is midnight coming around? Um, yes and no. Um, midnight has been transitioned outside. Um, all of my animals are kind of outside inside. It all depends on the weather. If it's good weather, they hang out outside. If it's bad weather, they come inside. Um, midnight winds all day long, meows all day. Um, does not really explore that much, hangs out on the back uh, lean-to area right there, and always wanting food. I don't care how much you feed that cat, it always wants food. And uh, so, um, still whines a lot, but will let me go up and kind of pet her and stuff like that. Um, she's still not very keen about being held and that kind of stuff, so we're making progress. Uh, come on, Homestead. Is Levi going live at six o'clock tomorrow night? Yes, Levi, uh, my son Levi, with Life with Levi. He actually just put a video out today. I was actually watching it right before I hit go live on here. Um, he's going live tomorrow on his channel for the first time. I'm actually going to be in that live as well. Uh, I'm gonna make a little guest appearance to support my son's first live, and uh, so I'm looking forward to it. But, yeah, he's been doing his thing, man. His editing and stuff is amazing. I'm in class, checking in during breaks. Uh, let's see here. Hello from Australia. Well, hello, Australia. Uh, Mama Murphy, how are you? My guy, David. What's going on, Josh? My nephew. Hey, I seen you called the other night, man. I didn't get a chance to answer. I'll probably hit you up tonight after this. I haven't been uh, feeling the best in the world, so I ain't really been into talking a whole lot. I know, that's weird. Me not being into talking. Come on. <laughs> David, I love your cabin. It looks wonderful. You did a great job. Yes, man, it was such a blessing. I'm not going to lie. I actually felt this cold coming on Wednesday night, and I was finishing up the inside of the cabin, and uh, about 10 o'clock that night, I felt it starting to hit me, and I knew I was about to get sick, so I worked until like 1 o'clock that morning and finished it up. That way, I wasn't kind of working in we're sick in the middle of like a construction area. So I went in and pushed on through until one o'clock that morning. And then I woke up the next morning. I was sick, sick, sick. And uh, it has been so much, so much better um, to be sick in the cabin the way it is now. The last time I got that bronchitis, I mean, basically it was a glorified hunting cabin and uh, looked very dirty, felt very dirty. And uh, so to be able to have a nice, clean, organized spot to be sick in this year um, was amazing. Wow, I just seen that, Randall. For a dash cam, get a three channel so you can create footage while on the road, buddy. Hey, I appreciate that, Randall, a whole bunch, man. But, uh, yeah, the cabin turned out absolutely amazing. Uh, appreciate all of the comments and support y'all gave me on that um i had some people not understand why i was doing it when i have so much other stuff to do but i needed to kind of take a break from the building i was kind of getting burnt out on it and the weather wasn't that great it was raining the day i painted uh these floors actually and uh i just really wanted to uh start the the new year off in a clean organized space uh, for eight months i mean basically i've been doing glorified camping out here off grid and uh, working my butt around the clock and uh, to not have a comfortable space that you can actually stop and uh, actually feel like you can actually rest in, um, it wears on you. Um, it's easy to be in the uh, peanut gallery and say, oh, do this, do this, do this. Until you live in this, um, you have no idea. And uh, 
it was rough. I mean, y'all seen the before and after pictures. It was rough. I mean, I made it look the best that I could make it look for this year. And I clean all the time, but it never felt clean. So now it truly is a world of difference. Margarita was shocked when she came here this weekend and seen it because this is the first time she's seen it. And she was just mind blown. She was like, wow. And uh, even Yogi, her dog, <laughs> was tripping out off of it, checking it out. Uh, David, check Midnight for worms. Uh, Midnight does not have worms. Midnight has just went to the vet um, and got fixed and everything else. So Midnight has got all of uh, her shots and wormer and all that stuff. She's good to go. She's actually gained quite a bit of weight since she's been here because I've been pouring the food to her. Uh, let's see here. Hello from Eastern Ontario. Hope you're feeling better, man. I appreciate it. Oh, we are bouncing right now. We are bouncing. Ah, let's see here. Cabin looks great. Thanks, Tim. Cup of tea with lemon and honey. And uh, you'll be better in no time. Yeah, I need to get me some local honey, man. I need to find somebody around here that does beekeeping where I could get some true, legit, like, organic, local honey. Um, it's funny. One of my subscribers uh, on Come On, Keeping It Real said, after reading all your comments, it looks like what you need to do is lather yourself with Vicks, drink a whole bottle of honey, and you should be good to go the next day. <laughs> I like Levi's content. He's a natural. Yeah, he is He is really, really good. His his videos and his editing is amazing. Oh, Tim does switch channels on me, so we're going to have a stump pulling contest. Tim, you don't want none, buddy. You don't want none. Blue don't want nothing to do with Uber. You got a little more horsepower than Uber. I'll give you that. You got a little bit more horsepower than Uber. But I know how to run it. See, that's the difference. It's the operator. It's not the horsepower. <laughs> Do you plan on getting on the ceilings this year? Um, the ceilings in here is not that high of a priority for me because I'm ripping the whole roof off of this cabin whenever I uh, re redo this cabin. Um, even if I go out or up, either way, the ceilings has got to come down in here because the roof line is going to change. So I don't know if the ceilings will get done or not. I'd like to get started on the cabin this year, but uh, I need to get the building that I'm working on first because I'm actually going to be staying in that building while I redo this cabin. So if I can get to it before rainy season, then yes. But if not, then it is what it is. Uh... I need to do also, I've got a sinus infection. Oh, Mike, what's going on, buddy? Ask Drew about honey. Will do. We just got honey from the monks at Abbey. All right, good deal. Hey there, Tim. Who's going to finish their cabin first, me or come on? Uh, Well, I don't know, Tim. Um. I really don't think that you're going to beat me, but uh, you might. You never know. It depends if you build it or if you contract it out. Now, if you build it, I'm probably going to beat you. If you contract it out, whew, I can't. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to win, win against contractors. Into the mist. What's going on, Lindsay? For everybody in here that don't know, Lindsay has started her own new channel, and it is Into the Mist, and it is awesome. Um, if you like story time, that is definitely good. She does a very, very good job at it. I'm a subscribe with all of my channels. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there's a bunch of big changes uh, coming up here soon, though. Uh, this Florida trip is about seeing my kids and my grandkids. But there's also some stuff that's coming back to Florida with me that's going to... Uh, make things uh, definitely different here on the homestead like instantly and it's also going to make things move a whole lot faster <laughs> in the future so i am looking forward to it you are going to have to stick around for my traveling uh videos that'll be starting next week um i'm going to try to at least do three videos a week on my uh come on homestead on this channel and i will do my daily on a uh, come on keeping it real keeping y'all up to date but yeah there's definitely a there's definitely some cool stuff kind of happening behind the scenes. 
And honestly, before I start redoing this cabin, one of my uh, top concerns is uh, solar this year. Uh, I'm hoping by March I can have solar out here, like a pretty significant solar setup that can kind of run my shop, the building, and this cabin. I really got to get off them generators. I actually just went and got a new generator yesterday and took one of my old ones back because it was starting to have troubles. Big Wave, what's going on, buddy? Uh, da, 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 let's see here. Ridge Life Ramblings. Ha, have you uh, put a rambling video out yet? Uh, Rob, what's going on, buddy? Haven't caught a live in a while. Mike, I haven't done a live in a while, buddy. I haven't done a live in like two months. Um, it might even be longer. Auntie Ann, when's the last time I went live? Do you know? It's been a minute. But we got 329 people in here, and I ain't went live in uh, over two months, so that's pretty cool. Appreciate all the love and the support. Not yet. Video coming soon. We'll tighten up. Tighten up, Tim. Let's get some rambling going on. I'm in, uh, I'm a Florida neighbor, born and raised, joined the military in 77 to 2006. Hang in there, brother. You'll get through it. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that's the big thing right there. I'm thinking that uh, the main thing is just the change in the environment. Now, I, I think my body's having a hard time adjusting to all of that. And plus, I work myself to the bone, um, and that doesn't help the cause any uh 334 watching but only 158 thumbs up come on people hit the like button hit the like button for the sick man trying to do it live after two months yeah deanne said a long time <laughs> yeah auntie ann's been on me auntie ann don't like me disappearing or like that on the lives i i gotta tighten up auntie ann i'm gonna do better i promise uh let's see here uh, have you thought about going back to work in IT? I think the extra money would help move things along faster. Absolutely not. Um, um, it's not necessarily as a money thing as it is a time thing. Um, yeah, of course, money definitely is a factor. But even if I had more money, I wouldn't have more time to do it. And I don't want to hire people to do it. Um, that's not part of my dream. That's not part of my journey. Um, there's certain things that I'm going to hire out that just makes financial sense. Um, like the septic tank, I believe I'm going to get the septic tank done by somebody. But uh, that's that's kind of not the dream. And uh, yeah, I could go back to IT, but I really don't want to. I will if I have to, but uh, I don't really want to. Um, I like being able to kind of do this and uh, kind of do it with my own hands at my own pace. And uh you know, we're in a world, honestly, of now, 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 now. And uh, I've lived that world. I mean, I've been in that world for a long time in corporate America. I've owned companies and all of that other stuff where you're running 900 miles per hour all the time. But you don't have a chance to enjoy life that way. And uh, one of the reasons why I moved here and I decided to take this journey on was to slow down a little bit and to start doing it kind of at my own uh, pace and, and, and my own rules type deal. Um, I've done the corporate America thing and, uh, money doesn't fix everything. Um, and if you pay somebody to do all of this, yeah, it'd be done. But then, uh, what kind of story is that actually? Um, you know, I, my dream is to do this on my own and to prove to myself that I can do this and I can kind of build everything on my own and kind of do this journey. So, um, I, I, I don't think going back to throw money at it's the answer. Uh, Lindsay, you're going to let Drew use the laptop to make a video. <laughs> you know, up North Homestead, what's going on? You missed my comment. Uh, glad you're feeling better. Thank you. If I help you, you know, you will get it done. Maybe not right, but done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, part of this, that part of this whole deal is the journey, right? Um, 
I don't know. I don't want it to go too fast. I, I mean, there's a couple of key things that I want to get done fast, like the solar. Um, I want to get that done just to be able to get off generators. And that opens up a lot of other doors. But the rest of it, man, why go so fast? Uh, let's see here. Dorian, new subscriber. I came from Mel and Gary's channel. Well, welcome. Welcome to the adventure. What's up, David? Been enjoying the main channel videos and daily vlogs. Doing awesome things. Thank you very much. Night all, 1220 here. Good night, Linda. And the answer is she's going to start cracking the whip as soon as her husband lets her have it back. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I love watching your videos. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, did you look up the fire video yet just wondering uh i don't think i have um i haven't been watching a ton of youtube honestly here uh, lately um last week man i was so sick i was literally just laying in here kind of going in and out of consciousness without even a tv on um just trying to get as much rest as possible and as far as watching videos, I get requests to watch all kinds of videos, and it takes me a while. Sometimes I get pretty far behind on that, but I will eventually get to it. Good evening, good evening, good evening. <laughs> uh, are you planning on getting any chicken soon? Yes, absolutely. One of the uh, one of the big things for me goals this year is to start bringing more life to the mountain. Uh, I got a lot of infrastructure I need to get set up in order to make that happen. But yes, chickens is definitely on the uh, short list, to say the list, to say the least. Um, there will definitely be uh, some other animals coming here real, real soon, <laughs> real, real soon. That's got a crazy story behind it. So stay tuned for that for sure. Uh, let's see here. So many folks are struggling to get rid of the crud. Yeah, it's everywhere right now. The crud is everywhere. And it's it's overseas. It's all over the U.S. My parents has been sick. My daughter was sick. My grand, uh, grandbabies were sick. As a YouTuber myself, uh, and there is a great deal of stress, I must say yours is a come on down and hang out for a while vibe which I love. Glad you do what you do. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, that's what it's all about, right? Um, when you're, when you're making these kind of videos and stuff, it's, it's about, you know, being transparent and, and kind of, you know, portraying for you guys, like you're here, like, like you're just a friend on the mountain and, and kind of going through with me. And that's the way I see y'all guys. And that's why I talk to the camera the way I talk to the camera. And to me, it's like, you know, we're all kind of going on this journey together and it's just a good time. I've had people uh, tell me that they watch my videos because they feel like they're talking to a friend that they've known forever and that they're right there. And to me, that is a huge compliment. David, take the trip in two days instead of straight through with your health as it is. Yeah, I've thought about that, Paul. That's why I was talking about that on Come On, Keeping It Real. Uh, Hartman, how much did you pay for your land? I appreciate that, buddy. Um, well, that's kind of a personal question. Um, let's just say I paid in the 60s. Um, I'm not going to give an exact figure, but I paid in the 60s. And I had to do a little bit of negotiating. actually got a real good deal on 20 acres if you're in the 60s you you did pretty good loud and clear hello david my friend good to see you hello margarita uh last live was first wednesday of november no live in december so yeah it's been two months been two months it's been a while uh, Rich Life needs to start you a bee colony so you can get your own local honey. Uh, we've actually talked about that. Um, that might be something that's coming in the future. Um, I have definitely talked to Tim about bees uh, extensively. <laughs> so uh, Let's see here. You look like you feel better than you did this morning. Yeah, I do. 
you can hear it starting to kind of get congested as it gets a little bit later um, early in the mornings until about 10 11 o'clock like I was saying earlier it's pretty rough and then as the day starts getting going and I get all my medicine in me and stuff I start feeling a little better and then uh, then towards the evenings I kind of start going back the other direction again so uh, right now 20 acres in the 68 range is a killer deal property prices are crazy yes they are love the new floor how you like it uh feel better soon i love the new floor i love the new floor i love the uh, setup as you can see behind me right now i actually got the chairs facing the computer so i can watch tv from the recliner but they will spin all the way around and face the couch so you have a setting area for conversating and stuff whenever you have guests over or if you want to do a collab deal with the computer you kind of got that so i tried to think about that as much as possible when i redid everything to kind of make it as much of a universal space as possible, being as it is such a small space. Uh, let's see here. Oh, man, I'm tardy to the party. So glad you're feeling better. Thank you, big guy's wife. Uh, I'm bad allergenic bee stings, so I have to buy my honey. Oh, that sucks. Land in North Florida as much more than... That a few years ago, 60 is a great price. Oh, I know all about the prices in North Florida. Trust me. Um, I paid more for my eight acres in my Florida homestead than I did for this property. Hello from upstate South Carolina. Cabin looks good. Hope you get to feeling better soon. Thank you. Where at in South Carolina? I was actually born in South Carolina. Uh, tried being close to Galveston Coast in Houston. Two acres around the corner. Just went for 190. Wow. Uh, you turned a small space into a large space, and it's amazing. Well, thank you, Auntie Ann. Hope you feel much better, David. Hopefully, you will get back into the swing of things. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I hope so, too, man. I want to mill wood right now so bad. I really want to get that siding on that building. I look at it every day every single day i'm just like uh uh david me and my wife have been watching you a long time do take care of yourself jim and sherry well thank you very much uh picking pickling south carolina nice i was born in charleston uh you have been in my prayers i hope you feel better thank you yep the property looks great thank you thank you we dread looking for land yeah um you just got to kind of keep keep searching and uh don't jump on nothing too quick and uh when you find the right one you'll know how many acres do you have i have 20. Uh, i saw your son's new video good job thank you yeah it was really really good eight to ten k an acre where uh let's see here hello david hello everyone still on the men from covid feel your pain david your cabin looks so nice thank you very much uh jonathan listen gary says 20.213 <laughs> no i'm actually exactly 20 acres <laughs> uh Got ours 10 acres in 2020 during the pandemic for 15,000. Oh, yeah, you can't beat that. Cannot beat that. Uh, if you're talking about where I'm at, I'm in Arkansas. I'm buying 10 acres in North Idaho this summer. Nice. Congrats. Uh, if you had to do it all again, would you? Absolutely. 100%. Um, I don't mind the work. I don't I don't mind the ups and downs and all that. That's all part of the journey. I will say that I've been very, very happy since I've been here. And uh, it's only going to get better. Um, I knew there was going to be challenges coming here. I wasn't expecting to get sick twice uh, in a year. Uh, normally, I get sick maybe once a year. Getting sick pretty bad twice. I got bronchitis about seven months ago. And then now this. So hopefully... This, <laughs> Hopefully that's it for a little while, but uh, it seems like I've been here forever, but in all reality, I've only been here about nine and a half months. 
uh, I actually moved here the last week of March full time. So I haven't even been here a year yet. I'm in North Idaho. I hope you're not trying to buy in Sandport area. I was wondering, I live in North Carolina and looking for a couple acres. North Carolina's got some beautiful land. I've done a lot of work there in the past. Uh, let's see here. We're bouncing around a little bit. Oh, we got 456 people in here. Not too bad for not going live for forever <laughs> and then coming back. Uh, it's a shame you didn't get your deer this year, but there's always next year. Keep up the good work. Yeah, that's my fault. Honestly, um, I didn't realize that the hunting seasons were as crazy as they are here. They're definitely different than what I'm used to. And by the time I actually got all of my stuff set up, there was really only like two days of modern gun left. And then there was two special hunts that was only about four days. So I didn't really get a chance and I really wasn't set up for it. And uh, but I've got everything I need now to be set up for next year and to be prepared. So it is what it is. I had a lot of other priorities going on at the time and it just wasn't high enough on the priority list for me. And uh, honestly, I just got a deep freezer not too long ago, so I wouldn't have even really been able to do nothing with it anyways before then. So it wasn't high on my priority list, but I will get one next year. That's for sure. And I could still hunt bow until the 28th of February, but I just don't have time with this Florida trip coming up and everything and all the big stuff that I got going on right afterwards. I just don't have time. So it is what it is. We'll, we'll get them next year. I'm just glad that I'm starting to see some stuff on camera now where they're starting to realize that, you know, this is the spot to be. Uh, it's a shame you didn't get a deer. Yeah, I just read that. Thank you for introducing me to Ridge Life. I live in Tennessee, too. So I have enjoyed watching him. You are very welcome. Tim is one of my best friends on the planet. Um, you can't go wrong with Tim. Um, he's an amazing person and an amazing friend, amazing father, just an amazing guy all the way around. And he has amazing content too and very entertaining. And uh, I love him to death. And uh, he is definitely one of my uh, uh, favorite things that's came out of YouTube to this point is uh, me being able to develop a relationship with him. So I am glad that you uh, took the chance and went over and checked him out. Um, I don't think that you'll be sorry at all. Are you going to fill us in a little about what you're planning to bring back uh, to the mountain on from Florida? Um, no, <laughs> um, I, I will be filling you in as the trip progresses. Um, I will be vlogging and videoing the trip and uh, y'all will kind of start seeing what's actually going down um, as the trip unfolds. And then I. Uh, and then probably towards the end of it, where I will do a video that really kind of lays it all out. Um, I am super excited um, about it. The story that goes along with it is just, I mean, you couldn't write it any better, honestly. Um, when I found out all of this and I started putting it together uh, a little while ago, um, it just couldn't, it couldn't have worked out any better. And I, I am, I am super excited about it, and it's just something, um, it's a blast from the past, let's just say that, and uh, it's going to uh, it's gonna be a game changer for me here, so definitely stay tuned. If you have not liked and subscribed to my channels yet, definitely do it. You don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, it's crazy. It's crazy how things go full circle sometimes. It really, really is. Come on, mountain is nice, but do you have an elephant <laughs> or a snuffleupagus? Oh, I can't even pronounce that. <coughs> I sound like that right now, old snuffleupagus. Take care of yourself, my friend. I will. Uh, I got to get going and turn the mountain onto into a gator farm. Oh, I got it. He's going to turn the mountain into a gator farm. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not happening. <laughs> Uh, been looking for some property there. Nice. 
yeah, I think the market's going to be changing here this year quite a bit. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't think it's going to be for the good, honestly. It is a ventless propane heater. They have oxygen detection sensors. Yeah, I get a lot of comments about my heater back there, and uh, it is a ventless one. It does not have to be vented. There is all kinds of safety features and stuff with it. I also have right over there one of the carbon dioxide detectors and all of that, so I am good on all of that. And honestly, this whole cabin's probably vented good enough just by being an old cabin. Uh, let's see here. We're jumping. How am I doing on comments today, Auntie Ann? I'm a little rusty. Let me know how I'm doing. There's old Simple Life Reclaim. Come on. Well, now I've been actually waiting on them to jump in. Let's go ahead and take a second and wish Mel a huge happy birthday. Today is Mel's birthday. My sister from another mother. Um, so happy birthday, sister. I hope your day has been amazing. Uh, we've been jumping around. Hi, I'm curious to see how Auntie Ann says that I'm doing today on the comments. <laughs> Auntie Ann said it's all good because we know heat rises. <laughs> oh, I love you, Auntie Ann. I really, really, really do. Uh, one of the kids are coming back with you. I'm not telling. Uh, like how you were comparing the tractors, Tim. Oh, there's no telling what Tim was saying. There ain't there ain't really much to compare. I mean, Tim's got a big tractor that's got like a lot of horsepower, but it has an operator that doesn't know what they're doing. So there's that. <laughs> Sending love from the UK. Love watching the progress you're making. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Catherine Littlewood. I appreciate it. Uh what made you take the giant leap to live on the mountain? Um, a lot of different uh, scenarios, honestly. Um, retiring in the mountains in a in a older style type cabin has been a dream of mine since I was like seven years old. That's kind of always been my end goal. And uh, a lot of stuff has happened in the last couple of years, like my divorce and all that other stuff that kind of... Uh, just got me to the point of thinking about at what point do you start, you know, uh, doing that? And uh, when do you make that a priority in your life to happen before you get too old to make it happen? I, I just I don't want to be the person that says I always wanted to do that. So um, I made a move from Florida, changed everything that I've known pretty much my adult life last year. Went to Texas, and I really wasn't happy in Texas. Um, I did it as a career bump type deal. And I was working 100-hour weeks and just miserable. And around New Year's last year, some events happened and stuff that just made me really kind of evaluate my life and decide that, you know what, I, um, I'm not getting any younger, and I'm ready to be happy. And I've raised my kids. Uh, I'm an empty nester. Uh, my kids are grown. Um, I'm a grandfather now, so I've done the responsibility of that, and uh, so now it's time to focus a little bit on uh, making myself happy and uh, being in as good spot so I can continue to be there for them and also for my grandkids, so I made the decision to go for it, and uh, here I am, and so far, I would say it's definitely been the, uh, one of the best decisions of my life because I am truly happy, and uh I'm really enjoying uh, the whole process of it all. It's not easy. Um, everybody, uh, well, not everybody, but a lot of people think that this is easy. It's not easy. It's a ton of work, um, but it's a, a work that I love. So that makes all the difference in the world. Uh, guessing that you'll be bringing something back to build your bridge. I love all the guesses. Uh, bring back your granddaughter i will not be bringing back my granddaughter because she is in school right now but i am trying to uh work something out one of my goals has always been to be that grandparent that the uh, grandkids can come and stay the summer with and be looking forward to that and be able to like go fishing and hiking and explore the outdoors and all that and uh 
I'm actually working on that with my oldest granddaughter this year because she's about to the age that uh, where I can actually make that happen. So uh, I might actually have my granddaughter this summer for a little while. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I hope that everything aligns. I'm going to do everything I can to make that happen. Uh, feel better soon and good to see you, David. Thank you. Uh, like the elephant is so awesome. I really enjoyed your walkabout today. Uh, let's hear happy birthday, Mel. Giving sister some love. Thank you. How old are your grandbabies? I have a seven year old granddaughter. She just turned seven. She's a New Year's Eve baby. And my other granddaughter is birthday is right after Valentine's Day, and she will be three. Uh, I see my boo back. Hello, everyone. Is Zumba? Yeah, Zumba's over with now. How was your workout, boo? Uh, let's see. Here. Hello from Burbank, Ohio. Hello. You do a good job, brother. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, you're bringing back some solar equipment. 500. Y'all need to hit that button. Come on with the 500. Hit the button. Looks like we got 519. That's amazing. Love every one of you guys. Uh, did you ever decide on a new logo for Come On? No, I have not. Um, I never actually started that contest. I did get a couple of entries um, for, a new, for a new logo for Come On Homesteading. Um, which is pretty cool. They had the Arkansas theme and stuff. Um, it has gave me some ideals. Um, I might, one of my new year's resolutions for this year is to really focus really on the back end of YouTube business, um, side of it, like rebranding and all of that other stuff. And, um, I actually know a guy that actually does uh, graphics design and stuff, and I might actually reach out to him to do the rebranding. Um, but, Unless somebody sends me something that I think is really, really cool, and then I will use that. I'm not opposed to that. But to save time, I might actually have somebody do it. But, no, I definitely want to change it because my current logo is a Florida-based logo, and I am in Arkansas now, so I would really like to change it more around the Arkansas kind of range type deal, which I want to do because I want to start making more merch. And you got to kind of start with the uh, – the logo and all that other stuff before I can really start making merch again. Uh, I bet he is bringing back his <laughs> old Tim. Hey guys, my birthday is on Wednesday, the 18th guys. Uh, love you guys. Thank you for all the birthday wishes in advance. And well, happy birthday. uh margarita you missed my comment again <laughs> there's no telling what old paul commented hey we're doing pretty good though we're 43 minutes in and i'm hanging strong even though i've been sick uh what do y'all guys think about is how it's going so far am i killing it at 60 percent well or am i a little rusty be honest be honest uh my birthday is next week gosh years go by so fast yes they do fail i'm in arkansas here <laughs> nice uh he is bringing back as many of his tools and stuff as he can maybe maybe make a come on t-shirt yes i want to but i got to get the rebranding done first um i actually want to do a whole merch line i've had a lot of requests for it but i've got to get the branding done so if y'all are a graphic designer, shoot me an email with some ideals and some designs. Uh, let's see here. For being sick, old dog, you're doing great. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, are you close to the Rogers? Uh, I don't know. Probably not if I don't know. It is far out, man. Oh, thank you. Melanie, did you get your Arkansas shirt I sent? Can't believe I found that in Indiana. I love it. Simple life reclaim. 
you missed my answer and me making fun of you for missing the answer. Well, I call that faith, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying, Anthony, and I'm trying. I'm giving it all I got. Uh, but I got me a great come on work hat and dinner hat. Come on. Hey, now I tell you what. Now the gear that I have made, now I will say that I'll put my merch up against uh, some some of the good merch because uh, my hats and my shirts, I, I, I think, was pretty nice. Uh, a lot of work went into them. Um, I did those myself with uh, help from Ian and a buddy of mine that does merch down there in Florida, and I think it turned out amazing. But it is a lot of work to do all of that, and uh, before I make more, I need to get the branding right. Mm. Thank you so much. I love it. I wear it. Nice. Logo. Uh, <laughs> uh, you have any Maker's Mark in that cup? Uh, I absolutely do. <laughs> That's kind of how I'm getting through this live. I, I took every modern medicine known to man, so I'm going old school today. <laughs> my son stole my come on dinner hat. Uh, I, I would say I'd give you another one, Auntie Anne, but I believe that I am officially out of all hats. I still have shirts of the old shirts. I just don't know exactly what sizes I have. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we almost got 400 thumbs up and over 500 in here. Not too bad. Come on, Homestead. He is talking about... There's art. There's uh, Beaver Lake, northwest corner of the state. Uh, I'll have to look that up, Paul. I hope it goes better with your health. Greetings from the Netherlands. Me too, because I am over it. Rogers is where we went uh, with the kids and the wedding. Oh, okay. Well. I'm not uh I'm not that close to it. I'm a couple hours away from it. Come on with the come on is a sweatshirt I would love to get in gray and turquoise. Okay. Okay. Noted. Uh let's see here. Can't read that one. Still got some. I wish I could search these comments while I'm why I'm kind of in here. That way I can see what Auntie Ann said. Uh, never got a come on shirt to begin with. Oh, Lindsay, we can fix that because I do believe I still have your size. So uh, I will I will make that right very, very soon. Uh, I think you need to make some come on cowboy hats. I can look into it, Auntie Anne. Cowboy hats are expensive, though, boy, I'm going to tell you. Hey, Alaska's the last frontier. Check out Gimps of Alaska. Y'all have time. Nice. So glad to hear and sound better. I love the Kevin's new face. Blessing from Puerto Rico. Don't walk around with a tear shirt until you are completely out of your cold. I've been trying to do better. I'm hard headed, but I've definitely been. On this cold right here, if nothing else, Arkansas is teaching me that I'm not a spring chicken no more, and I got to kind of listen to my body a little bit more. True that. True, Auntie Ann. How did your floors turn out? Uh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It is amazing what a little bit of paint and organization will do for, for, for a space. I, I tell you what. It looks uh, very blue in uh on the camera it's actually i'd say more gray than what it looks on the on the camera but it looks really really good how is Ryder doing Ryder is amazing Ryder is a <laughs> Ryder's a boss Ryder's my buddy uh that is the most loving cat i've ever seen in my life <laughs> you've been liking cold beers hats too much uh, the emoji, you know what I'm thinking, come on. <laughs> yes, I do. <coughs> uh, that's funny. 
Ha ha ha. 420 thumbs up right now. Come on. The floor looks great. I ordered a hat a long time ago and never got it and went back and checked on it and nothing came up. Where did you order a hat from? I haven't had the website in like over a year. That might be a fake website. Uh, I've been drinking AG1 after all the YouTube families I watch. I do not convince me to get it. Uh, I may help your cold. Yeah, I've thought about that AG1 stuff, but man, whew, it definitely doesn't look like something I would like. But I would, I would try it. I'd give it a go. I said that you was doing great on the comments, and then I said it's just like a man to ask a question and then not pay attention to the answer. <laughs> we'll see what happened was. You and Margarita need a Camon cookbook. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, that might be something that happens one day. Where are we at on time? 50 minutes. Doing pretty good. We got 10 more minutes. Uh, David, try hot lemon with honey, ginger. I rarely get a cold but i drink hot fresh squeezed lemon and the table salt of honey fresh grated ginger daily and it helps i can't stop laughing <laughs> uh, i have a cat that came back to me in spirit and i fell on my bed every night oh, so david that ag1 tastes better than it looks and smells like pineapple huh good to know my blanket looks great in the background. You like that, Bo? We got the buffaloes running across the chair. Uh, uh, hey, David Margarita, sorry I'm late. Hey, what you got here? That's all that matters, Sue. He's going elder, elderberry drench uh, with, with clear you right up. I was taking elderberry uh, uh, airborne. I had a big old bottle. I finally ran out during this this cold right here. But uh, yeah, I like elderberry. From Florida, I didn't really know nothing about elderberry. I didn't start seeing elderberry stuff until I got up here. And all the vitamins and stuff that I took of it, it tastes really good. I would like to grow some if they'll grow around here. That would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. I guess I uh, saw your call is a mansion compared to my cabin. I don't know what Tim's talking about. You never know with him. You two rocking it like rock stars. Thank you very much, David. Bourbon and honey is the best. Just saying. Okay. I need me some local honey. If anybody is local here and knows where to get honey, email me. Thank you very much, Wanda. Appreciate it. Elderberry will pretty much grow anywhere. Oh, good to know. Oh, my goodness. Your joy is contagious, Tim. Buy local honey from your local roadside vendor. That's the problem. I don't see a lot of local roadside vendors around here. I really don't. <laughs> but, Tim, you've been living in a mansion. <laughs> uh need some rich life rambling honey i've been trying to get tim to give me some honey for like two years i always thought me and him was a good friend but if you base it off uh me being able to get some honey i don't think i'm as good as friend as i think i am <laughs> uh hot toddies for cold yes what the heck it's raining now <laughs> yeah that sounds about right yeah, Tim, when? <laughs> we, can get, uh, we can get you, honey. Come on. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I have, I've been so busy since I've been here. I haven't really got a chance to really know like a lot of the locals. Um, the people that I kind of hang out with and talk to and stuff are people from my YouTube community and stuff. And, and I just ain't had time to really meet a lot of people, so. I haven't got the uh, skinny on uh, where all the all the stuff is, where all the local stuff is. Try flea market for honey. Tim, are one of the 41.36 bees really their bees, or did you just name it that? 
Yeah, Tim, is it? David, I work in healthcare and nursing. I used honey and ginger and lemon for most of my clients. Okay. I watched your son in the Virgin Islands today. Your son is a sweet young man. Yes, he is awesome. <laughs> Just got to stick your hand in a beehive and make sure you film it. Randall, you crazy, man. Uh, Tim wants you to visit him for the honey, David, and you can get uh, the knife back <laughs> out of your back again. <laughs> That's funny. Me and Tim's been talking. Me and Tim's been talking. Uh, have you picked out a channel name yet, Margarita? Uh, I'll get you some honey from downtown. They have a market on Saturdays. The people want the beans. Yeah, I know. I know. I can't spill all the beans. I do spill a lot of beans on Come On Keeping It Real, though. Um, I spill more beans on that channel than I do on any of the channels. So if you ain't went over there and checked out Come On Keeping It Real yet, go check that out. Because uh, a lot of times they get to see stuff a little bit before it actually gets... Uh, to the full edited video. Uh, let's see here. Are you going to get some fruit trees? Yes. Uh, me and Country Road Cure was actually uh, talking about fruit trees this fall. And we just we got so busy that we didn't get a chance to do it. But yes, uh, fruit trees is definitely something that I want plenty of here on the mountain. Uh, let's see here. On one of your videos, you name one that I thought. Hmm. Hello, David from Oklahoma. Well, hello. How are you, Brenda? Uh, hello, Caroline. Caroline. I see that Tim is not a moderator on here with his new channel. I don't know if I'm going to make him a moderator on here on his Ramblings channel because I'm going to have to go back through this chat and see exactly how much he was talking tonight because uh, <laughs> from the little bit I picked up, boy, he was coming at me hard tonight. Was he coming at me hard, guys? Uh, what has been seen cannot be unseen. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, uh, all these new bloody channels talking about everything. I have to watch them on Sunday because I have no time during the week. We're just trying to keep you busy, Paul. We're just trying to keep you busy, buddy. Uh, Robinson Bell Acres goes live at 7. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So... I guess that's my two-minute warning. Oh, hello, David from Bell, Florida. Well, hello. How are you? I will be in that area very soon. Uh, you're welcome, Mel. Hey, everyone. Hey, Margarita. No time or no, Tim was just messing with you. Oh, I know. It, it's all fun and games with me and Tim. Trust me, I give him just as much as he gives me. Uh, let, let's see here. Old stomping grounds. Now I live just miles from David in Arkansas. Nice. Great live. Well, thank you very much. But yeah, I think we will go ahead and call it, guys. Um, I'm actually surprised I made it an hour. I really am. Um, it felt great, though, guys. I appreciate all the love and support. We're going to start doing this on a regular again. I have missed all the fun on the live chats and being able to interact with you guys. And hopefully on the next one, I'll be feeling a lot better and it'll be a lot more of a party. But love you guys. And until we see each other again, guys, come out. Let's go on another adventure.